feet. And there were about 40 of us and a wide variety of different stakeholders in the community. We had students, parents, teachers, classified um, administrators, former students, community members. It was a very wide range. Um, the, the ages were varied and how people were connected to the community was varied. And I would say that a lot of the people who were teachers or classified or administrators also were parents or had kids who went to Apache Junction schools. So it was, um, it was really an awesome experience to have all of those people together in the same room. And every time we met, they had us sit at a different table with a different group. So we all got to know each other and really get to hear what people's opinions were and how they were feeling about the different data and the different presentations so that you weren't just, you know, sometimes you can get kind of in your own world and you don't get to see the world from other people's eyes. But it, this was really a case where you were sitting next to different people and you got to, to learn about them. So um, we met six times. So it was from 4.15 to 6.15 on these six Mondays. And I don't really know. There's nothing exciting to say about that. But, um, it was, oh, that's true. Yesterday, we, we did go a little bit later yesterday because we wanted to make sure that we were ready to come and present here tonight. Um, so these were our guiding principles that Dr. Anderson gave us from the very beginning that the recommendation needs to, first and foremost, needs to be good for kids. And it need, the recommendation needs to be good for the whole organization and that it needs to be good for the community. So that's why we had all of those different stakeholders. And that was always something that we came back to if someone tried to get off topic onto something else. It was like, um, I don't know how many times Dr. Anderson said, but remember, this has to be good for kids. She said that over and over and over again. So these were the things that we constantly went back to. So our recommendation aligns with those three principles. And we're going to present two calendars, a four day and a five day. And um, the, we, we reached the consensus, which we'll talk about later, um, about which one we preferred or which one we chose as the committee. And the calendar recommendations right now include the school days, the instructional minutes, the teacher professional development, which was definitely an important part, the district and community supports, the start date preference, and the start time preference, which we'll talk a little bit more in the next slide. So we were talking about a four and five day calendar, but one of the biggest concerns that kept coming up everywhere among the people on the committee and in the surveys is about the school start times. Because at the high school, and the end times for that matter, at the high school and the junior high, we start very early. It's very dark. It's cold. And, um, well, it is this time of year. The other time of year, it's not dark or cold, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and um, this was a very big concern that we don't start before 715. And that when that does happen, that we don't have our elementaries ending after 4 PM. So kids aren't getting home at um, 7 o'clock at night. And then the other things were the instructional day that we need to make sure that our instructional day is cohesive, that we have the opportunities that we want our kids to have, that, that this can be the best education that they can find. And um, parent-teacher conferences are something that we have kept at the elementary school, but we've had to go away from them at the junior high and the high school. That was something that there was a strong voice to say we need to have that come back at the junior high and the high school. And, and maybe we need to have it twice a year where we had gone down to one once a year. That's something that we were looking at. So the professional development will be, we need it to be embedded in the teacher's contract and within the school day. And we need to make sure that we have enough so that teachers are getting educated every year to become better teachers. In any craft, in any job that you have, you have to keep getting developed or you're just, you're, you're not going to progress. 
So that's um, very important that Dr. Anderson is very, very strong about her opinions about that, that we really need to make sure that our teachers are learning and growing. And then another major concern is the before and after school <coughs> opportunities, the childcare and the family time. There, you know, the, uh, the four day uh, gives people another day where they can be with their families. And there's also some people though that need a place for their kids to go on that fifth day. So that was something that when we do, if we go, if we stay with the four day, or even if we, if we go to the five day, we need to have a place for our kids to be in those times when their parents aren't at home with them after school or during breaks or whatever that is on the on Fridays. So those were things that we looked at. And then we also looked at the financial responsibility side of it to make sure that it aligned with our goals and our budget and about the transportation. That's one of the biggest parts of the budget that we can really affect with this. So we, we talked about that as well. So we had um, every week that we had our meeting, we had a different presenter present information. So we had Cindy Reichert who told us about the budget 